Greetings, this is Livingston. I wanted to get on and show you guys how I produced and wrote my song Super Kid. It came out last week and I can't thank you guys enough for the amount of love that you've shown it. So here we go, starting first with, of course, the story. So the story for Super Kid begins about a year and a half ago. I was in my old bedroom in the middle of junior year of high school. I had just spent three years teaching myself kind of how to use logic and write songs and, you know, throwing out a million different ideas because they were garbo and uh, always just went back to the drawing board and making more music. I finally landed on nine songs that I was so proud of, uh, but uh, one small caveat is I had no clue on earth what to do with them. So long story short, this music that I made in my bedroom bedroom ended up getting sent in emails around to people that I never would have expected to hear it and lo and behold my life changes in the span of a week. I'm literally going from Denton, Texas to New York and to LA. Uh, all the things that I expected would come from finally encountering opportunity and getting my music out there and having people approve the work that I had done didn't feel like anything at all. And I finally had a week at home in the middle of all of this happening and I thought to myself why I was still feeling empty from all of that and why I wasn't satisfied when I literally had my dreams handed to me uh, and I think it kind of dawned on me that I was placing so much value in the destination rather than in the journey uh, I had for lack of a better term been lost in the sauce uh, for a quick moment and this song was kind of a grounding point for me to remind myself why I create music and that no change of scenery in life and no great accolade or or great achievement is going to overshadow what's really going on inside. So now I can nerd out and kind of show you the musical stuff and how the production was done. So I started with this kind of nostalgic piano loop. I love those old 2000s Imagine Dragons-y uh, chord progressions. So this is what that sounded like. really standard major pop chord progression. A bunch of layers of these uh, little bit suspended pizzicato and staccato strings that I added in the first pre-chorus, and those sound like this. We also got this long string bass like this guy. I think it created a great conversation with that piano. So all together that sounds like this. The problem I encounter when I make a really driving pre-chorus is how do I make the chorus better than the pre-chorus, right? Like if there's already a ton of energy and there's a huge release in the pre-chorus, what can you do differently in the chorus that really adds that next layer and brings it to the next level? Together, I kind of took a bunch of these drum samples that drove. Um, this, is a, this is a monster stomp right here. So those are the first two layers. And then we have these really driving orchestral drums uh, that are just from contact. I use these all the time. And this, after doing those drums is kind of when I realized that the place I wanted to go with this uh, differently than the pre-chorus is capitalizing on the triplets. So that sounded like this. And then I had to add the pet band snare roll. Uh, and even added up back more of the strings from earlier and added a digital kick on top of that. And altogether that sounded like this. So altogether that chorus uh, with the vocals and all sounds like this. So hide your face Smile at the people even if it's fake Cause they can't know Now I was at a part in the song where I really wanted that story to come through in a personal way. And it's hard because sometimes you want to keep things really open and universal, but then I want to tie them also right back to my actual experiences because that's the only thing that I could be really honest about. So that lyric, oh you picked up the phone and the mayor is on the line, what are you waiting for? Oh, why are you empty when you saw the signal in the sky, but you wanted more? And then back to the pre-chorus, like that was the effect of seeing everything that I had ever wanted uh, and still not being satisfied by it really is captured in that second verse. So I really didn't want to distract too much from that with production. So I left it pretty bare bones. I layered in 
a bunch of different string sections that I love that I use in contact libraries and together those all sounded like this. And that with the vocals opens up this huge space, right? Because now we have these strings that are driving mono in the low end, but super stereo in the sides. And now there's all of this mono high end space for the vocals really just to shine through. Uh, and it's by far probably my favorite section of the song. At your face, smile at the people even if it's fake. Cause they can't know your kryptonite. And then I really wanted to figure out a super cinematic, movie-like way to end the entire song. Uh, so I'm like, why don't I just bring it down to a couple string layers and that original piano? Uh, like, what 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 would I love to see at the end of like a Spider-Man movie? You know, like what's the most iconic like Marvel thing that I could do at the end? So I brought in this vocal ooh ad lib and I put all of that O chorus from the instrumental post choruses earlier beneath it, kind of buried. So that sounds like this. And then it just swells at the end. Thank you so much for the love on Super Kid. Let me know what kind of content you guys want to see next. I'm always around. Uh, have a happy holidays, happy new year. I will see you on the other side of the year in 2021 with so many incredible things. So thank you for your support. See you guys later. Bye-bye.